Hello and welcome back to another video by The Rose System. I am Sarah and today we will be doing another book review. The book we will be reviewing is Down Not Out by Chris Cipollone. This review is based upon my own personal experiences with the book and other thoughts may differ to mine. Let's get into it. This book was read by one of my mentors before she gave it to me. I started reading it because my opinion on it was needed for a seminar that we did together. I was in a very bad place when I picked up this book. I was in the middle of a burnout and it was a good day if I could make myself breakfast. All of my minimal capabilities were being used to prepare the seminar with my mentor. My reading capacity was shot to the point where reading anything that was more than a couple of sentences was so tiring. Within minutes of picking up down, not out, I asked if I could keep her copy and buy her a new copy so I could highlight and make notes within the margin. Down, not out is a very easy read with each chapter only being about five pages long. Even in my state, I was able to make it through at least one chapter, many times more, with understanding in one sitting. There are 15 chapters in the book, plus an introduction and a conclusion. I finished the book within a week. Had I been a functional human being at the time of reading, I could have easily finished the book in a day. Being able to read and comprehend the book was a huge surprise for me. I found myself looking forward to getting to the next chapter. Down Not Out is a book written and edited by two Christians with first-hand experience with depression. The book is beautifully written with mental health in mind. Alongside depression, the author has experienced anxiety. It speaks to the truths of living with mental illnesses and disorders without gaslighting or minimising the reader's experiences. It gently brings the gospel into living with these disorders without raising false hopes. This book is aware that anxiety, depression and any other mental health disorder can be lifelong. This book does not promise healing but brings Christ into our situations. Even though dissociative disorders are not raised within the book, the points Mr. Cipollone raises are applicable to these disorders. The introduction of the book gives a quick summary of what the book is intended to do. It is a quick forward written by both the author and editor. Chapter 1 introduces Mr Cipollone's mental health journey. It explores his journey with the hope that the readers will be able to see where his points come from. The following chapters explore key aspects of mental health including brokenness, feelings, hope and suicide. Other chapters explore gospel ideas such as sin, attack, idols, discernment, prayer and love. Each chapter is filled with scripture and applies it in a biblical way. Each chapter is based within scripture. The conclusion sums up the book with its main point. You are loved. At the very end, the book provides helpline information for Australia, the UK and the USA. This book is a beautiful book. It is written with mental health in mind. It is very easy to read and is enjoyable to read. Mr. Cipollone has compiled this book excellently. I cannot think of a way for this book to be improved unless it is translated into as many languages as possible so that more people can read it in their own language. I give this book a 9.5 out of 10. I really do recommend this book for as many people as possible. The message is applicable to everyone, regardless of whether they struggle with their mental health or not. As it is so common with dissociative disorders to struggle with depression and or anxiety, I really do recommend this book. I am so grateful that God gave my mental wisdom in introducing me to this book. Even though I started reading it for the seminar, I continued to read it for my own. I cannot recommend this book enough. Down Not Out 
Details are in the description below, along with an interview with Mr. Cipollone about this book. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you. If you do decide to read this book for yourself, remember to read with a grain of salt. Remember, you are loved by the incredible God of the universe. And I'll see you in the next video.